drivers. 2018 may not be a vintage year, so to speak, for parts of Europe as they're expecting some of the worst harvests in years due to hail and frost. New this morning, 9 on your signs, Lisa Smith visited one of Ohio's largest wineries to find out more about their 2018 prediction. This room should have 300 barrels of wine in it. Right now, really, there's only about 30, 35 that are full of wine. Valley Vineyards in Morrow is a family-owned winery where the ups and downs of winemaking is part of the business. Quality this year is great. It's just supply on some things is going to be a little bit limited. So It's been a hard year on grape growers, frost in Europe, fires in California, and frost in Ohio. This year was very odd. It was sort of the reverse. The more delicate grapes, the Cabernets, are fine. The native grapes like Concord, that, which normally you can't kill, those were frosted. So that's a complete flip that we haven't seen in 20 years. Grape growers say that they're used to fluctuations in the harvest. That's why this vineyard has a diversified crop, giving them a lot of choices. We have about 100 acres of vineyards. Uh, we grow 36 types of grapes. But will all of this mean an increase in prices? You'll still see the supply of wine from California, um, here, New York, and uh, France, but there just won't be the big discounts, say, in Christmas and to rotate vintages. It takes a couple of years for wines to make it from vine to table, but some retailers may raise prices, knowing this wasn't the best year for growers. Lisa Smith, 9 on your side.